Alright, this is going to be my like 20th time recording this uh, stupid video. Um, well, I mean, it's not stupid, it's, it's like kind of a, a helpful video for like some like projects. Alright, first OBS uh, crashed on me, uh, which was special. And then the second time I started recording, I recorded the entire thing and it just the audio didn't it didn't pick up my voice and the third time I forgot to turn on the audio again. Um I it yeah. But yeah, so yeah. This, this video is it, just getting frustrating. So basically what you want to do is uh, create a sound part in the workspace. And I'm gonna rename this to music. Uh, and inside that music that's uh, that sound part you're gonna want to script. And I'm gonna rename that script to playlist. And you can name these whatever you want. I'm just gonna I mean it just to me it makes sense to name this music and this one the playlist because you know correlation. Alright. Anyway, so uh, I would assume you already have your um, audio IDs that you want to use the, or the, like just the sounds you want to use for your playlist. Uh, and I got my five right here, which I'm going to copy for later on. Um, but you're going to want to create a variable called music, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's going to be for the sound part of the workspace. So, script.parent. And uh, you're going to want to create a table. Uh, I'm going to name this one audios. Uh, this is where you're going to store all the uh, sound IDs. And then this is where I'm going to paste the five that I already have. These are just basic NCS, Electromania, um, just some basic music on from the Blowbox uh, audio library. So now uh, that you got your audio IDs and your you know, your just your variables out of the way, you're gonna want to create a wait loop. So while wait. And then, and obviously, I'll put that in there, but yeah. So, this is basically what this does is it allows the playlist to loop. Um, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much what it does. So, for uh, you're gonna create a for loop for i c n pairs. Oh my gosh, I swear, pairs. There we go. And uh, whatever you name your table, uh, I'm going inside the parentheses, audios, and I'm going to that here. So, this right here, uh, basically what this is going to do, uh, you got your i and b variables. i is the number placed in the table, and b is the value, so whatever the audio ID is. So, i, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then audio ID is the so whatever these numbers are that you may use. Um, so inside this uh, this for loop, you're going to want to uh, go music dot sound ID equals uh, rbx asset ID colon slash slash. And then you that name of that was B. And B is obviously the audio ID. Um, and you're going to want to indent again and go music colon play and then music dot ended colon wait and then indent again and you're going to add a wait. Now, I suggest going in place, setting the wait time to between like a half second and a full second. This just gives the server time to change it. I'm going to go with uh, 0 0.5. Um, this is the lowest. I don't suggest going any lower. It could break the script. Um, I even has tr some troubles with 0 0.5. It, it just... It's just more efficient to go with anything greater than a half second. So I'm going to go with 0 0.75 for this. Uh, just in the middle there. And this is pretty much it for the audio playlist. And you're going to want to. Oh, I'm going to test it. Show you. It works.
on you. No. Playing. Yeah, I do play. Play. Yes. Hope you can count this out. Uh, this is the light. Do I need to look this? Subscribe. Um, look notification. Well. See you guys in the next one. Bye.